Hello students, in this video we will discuss how to find domain and range of functions in which trigonometric functions are involved. To start with consider function f x is equal to square root of cos of sin x. Find domain. How you start the arguments? Kaise shuruat karenge? First we have square root function. So, we must have cos of sin x greater than or equal to 0. Square root ke andar ek expression hai. So, wo expression kya hona chahiye? Greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now we want values of sin x for which cos of sin x is non-negative. Now, the value of this expression depends on the values of sin x. The range of sin x function is minus 1 to 1. For all x belongs to R. Now, this minus 1 to 1 values of sin x are angles of cos function. These angles are considered in what? Radian measures. Ye radian may hoga definitely. Thik hai na? Degree may nahi hoga. Cos ke andar ka jo angle hai, wo hai minus 1 to 1 radian. Now, we have to check for this radians minus 1 to 1, what are the values of cos function. Consider sin x is equal to theta, we have to check the values of cos theta for theta belongs to minus 1 to 1 and this angles are in the form of radian measure. For that, I will draw the graph of cos function. This is uh, pi by 2 and this is minus pi by 2. 1.57 minus 1.57 radian and minus 1 and 1 lies here and here. Now, we have angles from minus 1 to 1 where we can see cosine function is positive. Now, check kare, cos of minus 1 is this height which is positive, cos of 1 is this height which is positive and for all the values from minus 1 to 1, the value of cos function is positive. That means, for this theta belongs to minus 1 to 1, cos theta is always positive greater than 0 and theta belongs to minus 1 to 1 for all x belongs to r. So, domain of this function is r, all real numbers. Let us do in reverse order. Domain is r, x belongs to r. For that, the values of sin x will be from minus 1 to 1 and for this values of angles of cosine, cosine is always positive. So, the domain is all real numbers. Okay, now, let us find the range of this function. We have already got the domain. Domain is uh, all real numbers. For x belongs to r, sin x belongs to minus 1 to 1. The theta of cosine belongs to minus 1 to 1. So, we will be finding the values of cos theta, where theta belongs to minus 1 to 1. Again, we will take the help of the uh, graph. Okay. This is the graph of uh, cosine function. Here we have pi by 2, this is uh, minus pi by 2, this height is 1. Here we have 1 and here minus 1, theta belongs to minus 1 to 1. For this minus 1, the value of uh, cos of minus 1 is cos 1, because cos minus 1 is cos 1. So, this height is cos 1. Also, this height is cos 1. So, when I am from minus 1 to 1, this is the least height which I can get. What is the maximum height? The maximum height will occur uh, when uh, I take x is equal to 0 and this height is 1. That means, when I am from minus 1 to 1 radian, the values of uh, cos theta, where theta is uh, uh, sin x belongs to cos 1 to 1. Jab mera theta minus 1 to 1 mein jayega, to 
कॉस फंक्शन की जो वैल्यूस है वो कहाँ से कहाँ तक जाएगी मिनिमम हाइट इज कॉस वन एंड मैक्सिमम हाइट इज वन सो द वैल्यूज ऑफ कॉस थीटा विल लाइव फ्रॉम कॉस वन टू वन सो द वैल्यूज ऑफ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ कॉस ऑफ साइन एक्स बिलोंग्स टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ कॉस वन टू वन लेट्स कंसिडर वन मोर फंक्शन क्वेश्चन इज फाइन डोमेन ऑफ दिस फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स प्लस कॉज एक्स प्लस स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ सेवन एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस सिक्स ओके हाउ यू स्टार्ट द आर्ग्यूमेंट वी मस्ट है दिस एक्सप्रेशन ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ऑल्सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो लेट सॉल्व फर्स्ट दिस इन इक्वालिटी वी हैव सेवन एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो सो मल्टीप्लाइंग बोथ साइड बाय माइनस साइन वी हैव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस सिक्स लेस देन और इक्वल टू जीरो फैक्ट्राइजेशन इज सिंपल एक्स माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स माइनस सिक्स लेस देन और इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम साइंस की मैथड वी हैव एक्स बिलोंग्स टू वन टू सिक्स दिस इज कंडीशन नंबर वन to ensure that this term is defined square root of 7x minus x square minus 6 now this term square root of sin x plus cos x this is defined when we have uh, sin x plus cos x greater than or equal to 0 okay now uh, how we solve this inequality Take one term to RHS. So we have cos x greater than or equal to minus sin x. I am taking sin x term uh, to the RHS. To solve this types of inequality, we always use graphical method. It is always advisable to use graphical method. There may be uh, other methods, non-graphical methods, but the best is graphical method. So let's draw the graphs. of two functions cos x and minus sin x what is the graph of cos x is like this this is uh, minus pi by 2 this is pi by 2 this is uh, pi and this is 3 pi by 2 i am considering uh, interval minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 and this has length a uh, uh, 2 pi the period of both these functions is 2 pi so what we do we solve this inequality for interval of length 2 pi and then we will repeat the values graph of minus sin x how you draw this graph the graph of sin x is like this here we have one at pi sin pi is 0 and at 3 pi by 2 sin is minus 1 okay this is the graph of sin x then how you draw the graph of minus sin x we just flip this graph about x axis aap x axis ke about is graph ko flip kar denge jahan pe sin x positive hai wahan pe minus sin x negative hoga so this is the graph of Minus sin x. Here sin x is positive, minus sin x is negative. Here sin x is negative, so minus sin x will be positive, and here minus sin x will be again positive. So this is the graph of y is equal to minus sin x, and uh, this is graph of cos x. Now we want cos x to be greater than or equal to minus sin x that means the graph of cos x must lie above the graph of minus sin x cos x minus sin x se zyada hai iska matlab kya hua ki cos x function ki jo height hai wo minus sin x function ki height se zyada hona chahiye for given value of x that means the graph of cos x will lie above the graph of minus sin x and this is occurring 
from this point to this point. We can see that here the graph of cos x is above the graph of minus sin x. This is point minus pi by 4 and uh, this is uh, a point lying in uh, second quadrant which is 3 pi by 4. So, the solution of this inequality is x belongs to minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4. Now, we will have other intervals uh, if we extend uh, these two graphs. We have solved for one interval of length 2 pi. There will be many such intervals of length 2 pi. Both these functions are periodic with period 2 pi. So, how you can generalize this? In fact, what will be the next interval? The next interval will be x belongs to, I will add 2 pi here. So, 2 pi minus pi by 4 that is 7 pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4 plus uh, 2 pi, it is 11 pi by 4. So, x belongs to either this or this, the next interval will be if I add here 2 pi here and here, I will get the next interval. Similarly, we can get infinite such intervals. If I subtract 2 pi from both of this, I will get uh, more intervals to the uh, left of origin. But here x belongs to 1 to 6. So, uh, these two intervals are enough. Now, we will find intersection of this two. Because we want this to be greater than or equal to 0 and this to be greater than or equal to 0 simultaneously. Dono ek saath non negative hona chahiye, to hum kya karenge? Dono se jo x ka values aa raha hai, hum kya lenge? Uska intersection lenge. So, let's take a intersection, let's draw uh, the real number line. Uh, here we have uh, 1 and here we have 6. Minus pi by 4 is to the left of uh, 1 here. Uh, 3 pi by 4, it is uh, 9.42 upon 4. That means, this is uh, 2 point something. So, uh, this will be somewhere here. Okay. This is 7 pi by 4, this is uh, 21.98, approximately 22. 22 upon 4 is uh, uh, 11 upon 2, that is 5.5. Uh, so, this will lie to the left of 6. Here we have 7 pi by 4. Obviously, 11 pi by 4 will lie to the right of uh, 6. Okay. Now, here we have uh, this interval x belongs to 1 to 6 and uh, we have minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4 union either this or this that means union 7 pi by 4 to 11 pi by 4. Common values, where are common values? Common values are here and uh, here. So, what is the domain? Domain is x belongs to 1, 2, 3 pi by 4 union 7 pi by 4 to 6. This is the domain of this function. The concept in this question is uh, uh, how to solve trigonometric inequalities. The best way is use the graphs. Graph se aapko clarity aa jata hai ki kya solution hoga aur ye bhi pata chal jayega aapko ki jo aapka solution hai wo sahi hai ya galat hai. Let's try one more question. Okay, question is uh, find range of function f x is equal to sin square x minus sin x plus 1. Now, this is quadratic in sin x. So, what I will do? I will try to write this expression as a complete square of some uh, sin x minus a. So, this is uh, equal to sin square x. Completing square ka tarika humne discuss kiya hua hai quadratic mein minus 2 multiply by half multiply by sin x plus 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 4. Sin x, so we have square, sin square x, we have half, so we have here 1 by 4. Now, this first three terms forms perfect square of sin x minus half. So, we have uh, sin x minus half square plus 
3 by 4. Now, to find the range of this function, we start arguments from here sin x. We know about sin x. Sin x lies from minus 1 to 1, subtract half. So, we have minus 3 by 2 less than or equal to sin x minus half less than or equal to half. We have to square this. Okay, now, generally students do this way. They square all the sides and find this values from 9 by 4 to 1 by 4. In fact, uh, they do this way 9 by 4 less than or equal to sin x minus half square less than or equal to 1 by 4. Then they say uh, oops that is a mistake 9 by 4 is greater value. So, they correct it ok they write like this, but this is wrong approach. The reason is sin x minus half lies from minus 3 by 2 to half. So, sin x minus half will be 0 sometimes and the square of 0 is 0. This 0 is not reflecting in this values of square. So, actually the square of sin x minus half will lie from 0 to 9 by 4. Okay, the reason is the values of sin x minus half, I am taking it on a, a real number line. Here we have 0, here we have half, here we have minus 3 by 2. When sin x minus half is from 0 to half, the square will lie from 0 to 1 by 4. And when uh, sin x minus half is from minus 3 by 2 to 0, the square of this will lie from 0 to 9 by 4. 0 to 1 by 4 and 0 to 9 by 4. What is union? 0 to 9 by 4. So, these values are from 0 to 9 by 4, not from 1 by 4 to 9 by 4. Now, at 3 by 4, so we have 3 by 4 less than or equal to, uh, this is actually now f x and here we have less than or equal to 9 by 4 plus 3 by 4, that is 12 by 4, that is 3. So, the range of function is 3 by 4 to 3. Take one more question. Question is find the range of this function f x is equal to 1 upon 2 cos x minus 1. Since very simple question, we start from uh, cos x. Cos x lies in the interval minus 1 to 1. Multiply by 2. So, we have uh, 2 cos x lying between minus 2 to 2, then subtract 1. So, we have minus 3 less than or equal to 2 cos x minus 1 less than or equal to 1. Now, we have to find the values of reciprocal of 2 cos x minus 1, but here you have to be very cautious. Bahut dhyan se karna hai ye. Galti ho sakti hai. Generally students kya karte hai? Wo iska reciprocal kar lete hai. Or phir kehte hai ki iska jo range hai, wo minus 1 upon 3 se 1 mein hoga. But the problem is that when 2 cos x minus 1 is moving from minus 3 to 1, it will attain value 0. And for this function to get defined, 2 cos x minus 1 cannot be 0. Ye 0 nahi ho sakta, not equal to 0. So, uh, before doing reciprocal, what we do? We break interval at 0. So, we have now minus 3 less than or equal to 2 cos x minus 1 less than 0 or 0 less than 2 cos x minus 1 less than or equal to 1. We have excluded 0 because when 2 cos x minus 1 is 0, reciprocal is not defined. 0 ko hume exclude karna hai. Now, we can take reciprocal. Reciprocal of minus 3 is minus 1 upon 3 and inequality gets reversed. When reciprocal lete inequality mein, to inequality reverse ho jata hai. We have discussed this in the inequality uh, video lecture. Okay. So, here we have 1 upon 2 cos x minus 1. What is reciprocal of this 0? Now, this 0 is not exact 0. This is uh, uh, 
slightly lesser than 0, the reciprocal which is minus infinity. You have to be cautious while squaring the inequality and while taking reciprocal of inequality. Okay. Now, this one, here we have 0 but this 0 is slightly more than 0 because 2 cos x minus 1 is more than 0, not exact 0. That means, we have a 0 plus. What is reciprocal of 0 plus? That is infinity. Sign of inequality gets reversed. Greater than 1 upon 2 cos x minus 1 greater than or equal to 1. So, finally, we have the values of uh, f x belongs to minus infinity to minus 1 upon 3 union 1 to infinity. So, this is the range of function. The main concept in this question is that of uh, finding the values of reciprocals when the values of uh, some expression is given. Let us take one more question. Question is uh, find domain and range of this function f x is equal to sin of log of square root of 4 minus x square upon 1 minus x. Let us first find the domain. What will be the arguments? We have square root here. So, we must have 4 minus x square greater than 0. I am not taking greater than or equal to 0 because uh, if this is equal to 0, log function is not defined. We know that log function is defined for the arguments which are positive. Log function sirf positive real values ke liye defined hota hai. Thik hai? Other argument is this entire expression is positive. That means, square root of 4 minus x square upon 1 minus x is greater than 0. Now, already we have this greater than 0. So, this square root will be greater than 0. So, this ratio is positive when 1 minus x is greater than 0 or x is less than 1. Okay. And from this we get x square minus 4 less than 0, x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 less than 0. Then from sign scheme method, However, this is a simple inequality, quadratic inequality, we can write solution directly, but uh, let us have a sign scheme for this. This is less than 0. So, x belongs to minus 2, 2, 2. We have open interval at minus 2 and 2 because here we have less than. Now, we will take intersection of uh, uh, this two intervals because we want this uh, two inequalities to be satisfied simultaneously. The common values are uh, x belongs to minus 2 to 1. This is uh, domain of the function. Now, let us find range of the function. For that, first we will check the values of this expression based on that we will find the values of log and from that we can get the values of sine of this angle. So, first of all let us consider this expression. What will be the values? What will be the behavior of this function? Now, x belongs to minus 2 to 1 in which uh, a function is continuous is function ki value hume continuously milti rahegi jab x hamara minus 2 se 1 mein hoga. Thik hai na? Consider this argument for logarithm function to get defined. Ye hamesha positive rahenge. When x tends to minus 2, we cannot take minus 2 exactly, but when x is exactly minus 2, this will be 0 and when x tends to minus 2, this value tends to 0. So, here we have lower bound 0. Now, when x tends to 1, when x tends to 1, this approximately equal to root 3, numerator is root 3 and uh, this is 1 minus slightly lesser than 1. That means, this difference tends to 0, but that 0 will be positive 0 and root 3 upon tends to 0, which is positive 0, we have infinite value and since function is continuous, 
we have uh, continuous values from 0 to infinity. So, the values of this expression will lie in the interval 0 to infinity. For this values of uh, uh, argument logarithm function log of uh, this values will lie from minus infinity to infinity. The domain of log function is uh, positive values. Here we have all positive real values. So, the values of log of this will lie from minus infinity to infinity. Log will uh, assume all its possible real values. And for this angle minus infinity to infinity, the values of sin are from minus 1 to 1. Sin ke andar ka value jo hai, angle jo hai, wo real number hai, any real number. So, the values of uh, sin function will be from minus 1 to 1. So, range is minus 1 to 1. So, we have this very good question in uh, G exam, very analytical. In one question, uh, they have involved uh, three functions. This irrational function, then we have this ratio, log of this function and then sin of this function. So, very interesting question. A question may baut kuch pooch lete J e wale hai na? Ab kuch aise questions try karte hai agar jis mein humne dhyan se question nahi kya, pura dhyan nahi diya question ke upar, to galti honne ke pure chances hai. Is category mein first question try karte hai. Question is uh, if f x is equal to sin x upon square root of 1 plus 10 square x minus cos x upon square root of 1 plus uh, cot square x, then we have to find domain in range of the function. First of all, we will simplify this function and simplification seems to be simple. We have sin x upon what is 1 plus 10 square x? It is second square x. Generally, students pe ek galti karte hai. They write root second square x as uh, second x. And here we have cos x upon 1 plus cot square x is cos x square x and uh, they write root cos x square x as uh, cos x x. Now, this is equal to sin x multiply by cos x minus cos x multiply by sin x. Ye cancel ho gaya, toh aapka answer kya a gaya? 0. Definitely, this is wrong. Where is the mistake? Kya mistake hai yaha pe? Kis step pe? In this step, square root of second square x, 1 plus 10 square x is second square x. So, we have square root of second square x. What is square root of second square x? Is it second x always? In fact, square root of second square x is modulus of second x. Yaad karo modulus function ka definition. Square root of x square is not x, not minus x. It is actually modulus of x. Then you write this is as x when x is uh, greater than or equal to 0 and minus x when x is less than 0. So, in fact, we should have here modulus. Here also we have modulus. So, here we have modulus and here also we have modulus. So, function f x is sin x multiplied by mod cos x minus cos x multiplied by mod sin x. So, uh, this is not 0 always. Okay, now, what is domain of the function? Let us first of all find the domain, then we will find the range. Now, one simplifies function from initial function to this function. In initial function, uh, uh, there are terms 10 x and cot x, but here after simplification, we have only terms uh, uh, sin x and cos x. So, someone may say that domain of this function is r. This is wrong domain is not all real numbers. Aap yaha pe dekh rahe hain sin x and cos x hai aur aapne kaha ki sin x and cos x are defined for all real values of x. Then you may say domain is all real numbers, but this is wrong. The reason is in actual function there were terms tan x and cot x. 
and these two functions have domain not all real numbers. You can simplify the function, a function could simplify kar sakte hai, but not at the cost of change in the domain. Author kahega ki aapne is function ko simplify kyun kiya, aapne mera domain change kyun kar diya, thik hai na. So, when you simplify the function, keep eye on the domain of the original function, in fact, uh, uh, keep eye on terms of the original function. Now, here 10x is not defined when uh, x is odd multiples of pi by 2 and cortex is not defined when x is a integral multiple of pi. So, actual domain is all real number minus n pi by 2. This includes uh, both integral multiples of pi as well as odd integral multiples of pi by 2, where n belongs to z. In fact, uh, uh, these are quadrant angles. So, this is domain of the function. Now, we are here, uh, we have to find the range of the function. Okay, now, modulus of cos x is cos x or minus cos x depending upon cos x is positive or negative. Similarly, we have modulus of sin x, either sin x or minus sin x. Okay, now, we divide this function into four parts, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. In first quadrant, where x belongs to 0 to pi pi 2. In first quadrant, modulus of cos x will be cos x and mod sin x will be sin x because both sin x and cos x are positive. So, we have sin x cos x minus cos x sin x cancel out. So, here we have 0. Second quadrant x belongs to pi by 2 to pi. In second quadrant modulus of cos x will be minus cos x because cos x is negative in second quadrant. So, we have minus sin x multiply by cos x, but sin x is positive. So, here we have uh, sin x in place of mod sin x. So, we have minus sin x cos x minus cos x sin x. This is minus 2 sin x cos x, which is equal to minus sin 2 x. Third quadrant x belongs to pi to 3 pi by 2. In third quadrant, both sin x and cos x are negative. So, this is minus cos x and this is minus sin x. So, we have minus sin x cos x plus cos x sin x cancel out. So, here we have 0 again and in fourth quadrant, we have x belongs to 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi where cos x is positive. So, this will be sin x cos x and sin x is negative. So, this is cos x minus sin x minus minus plus. So, we have 2 sin x cos x which is equal to sin of 2 x. Okay, now, we can find range uh, from this four parts because after that uh, the function will repeat. Again, we have then first quadrant. We can say the period of this function is 2 pi. So, we will find range in this uh, uh, length of interval uh, which is uh, length 2 pi. Okay. Here, the value is 0. Uh, here, uh, we have x belongs to pi by 2 to pi. Uh, that means, uh, uh, 2 x belongs to pi to 2 pi. Now, these values, these angles lies in third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So, what will be the values of sin 2 x? Sin 2 x belongs to minus 1 to 0, because sin pi is 0, sin 2 pi is 0 and between that we have a 3 pi by 2, where sin uh, uh, 3 pi by 2 is uh, uh, minus 1. So, we have sin 2 x belongs to minus 1 to 0, that means uh, minus sin 2 x belongs to 0 to 1. Okay. Now, come to this, x belongs to 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi, for this values of x, 2 x belongs to 3 pi to 4 pi. Again, we have third quadrant and fourth quadrant for uh, this 2 x, where sin 2 x is uh, uh, negative. So, we have sin 2 x belongs to minus 1 to 0. So, we have range union of 0, 
0 to 1 and minus 1 to 0. So, finally, range of the function range is minus 1 to 1. This is range of this function. In fact, we can draw the graph of the function. So, let us draw the graph. This is uh, pi, this is uh, 2 pi, this is 3 pi by 2 and uh, this is pi by 2. In first quadrant, value is 0. So, I draw like this, I am putting uh, blank points at 0 and pi by 2 because these two points are not in the domain. In fact, all n pi by 2s are not in the domain. In third quadrant also, here we have a graph uh, y is equal to 0 again. Now, pi by 2 to pi, uh, where function is uh, minus sin 2 x, as we seen here, 2 x belongs to pi 2 to pi for this values of uh, uh, x, where uh, sin 2 x is negative, but minus sin 2 x is positive. At uh, pi by 2, sin pi is 0, and at pi, sin 2 pi is 0, and uh, uh, in between, uh, angle is uh, 3 pi by 4. That means, 2 x will be uh, 3 pi by 2, sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and minus of minus 1 that is 1. So, we have graph like this in this interval. Similarly, we will have graph like this in this interval, where we have already seen sin 2 x belongs to minus 1 to 0. So, this is the graph for one uh, period 0 to 2 pi. The same graph will repeat further uh, also this side. From this, we can say the range of the function is, this is the uh, least value and this is greatest value, the value of function uh, varying from minus 1 to 1. So, the range is minus 1 to 1.